In today's video, why you should not be doing HIIT cardio. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss the topic of high intensity interval training or HIT cardio as it pertains to fat loss and losing body fat and getting leaner because HIT cardio has become all the rage over the last, I guess, say, let's say 10 years. When I first was introduced to the sport, it was immediately um, supposed to be a solution for fat loss and for good reason. There was actually some really good research that came out that showed that by doing high intensity interval training, you were actually able to burn more calories and thus burn more body fat in a shorter amount of time versus when you're doing steady state cardio. But I'm here to tell you, you should stop doing HIIT cardio and here's why. You see, we are physique athletes. If you're watching this and you compete or you are worried about body composition, well, you're probably not just someone who's trying to lose weight. I will say there's probably a situation where high intensity cardio is great for certain individuals, but as far as competitors go, as far as bodybuilders go, as far as people that are worried about optimizing their body composition, your priority should not be HIIT cardio. And if your priority is HIIT cardio, well, then you're not a physique athlete, okay? You're a performance athlete. And if you're a performance athlete, there's definitely probably some application for high intensity training, such as someone who competes in something like the CrossFit Games. Those individuals are definitely going to be doing something very related to time restraint and doing things in a quick manner that would require them to be adapted to that style of training. However, what I do is coach bodybuilders, physique athletes, bikini competitors. And so I've had to learn myself just how to make sure that process goes the best it can possibly go. Because our goal is to get on the stage feeling the best we can feel with the most muscle and the least body fat. And I don't think HIIT cardio is the solution to that. So from my experience, my first contest prep, my first coach put me on two sessions of HIIT cardio per week. And I did this protocol all the way through prep until I got to stage. And I will say there were some adaptations that occurred to HIIT cardio. Now my protocol was to do a 10 second all out life or death sprint followed by a minute of recovery and then I would repeat. And eventually I got up to doing 15 seconds all out sprint with up to two to three minutes of recovery between and then repeating. And I think the most intervals I ever did in a single session was 10. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but if anyone here has ever done proper hit cardio, life or death sprinting, you literally cannot breathe. And I've done videos on HIIT cardio and how to do it properly, but a true interval of HIIT cardio is exhausting, okay? And here's why I don't believe it should be used in contest prep anymore, especially as we get to the closer stages of getting to stage. Because while high intensity cardio is great for burning calories, it's not great for recovery. That's right. High intensity cardio is very, very tough to recover from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a study in the description box below if you want to look at it. Otherwise, I'll just explain what it showed. It had three groups do three different styles of cardiovascular exercise, um, ranging from low intensity all the way up to high intensity. Now, what they found was that all groups across the board improved in equal amounts. While the high intensity style of cardio was a shorter session, what they found was the people that didn't do high intensity cardio were able to return to normal life quicker. Whereas the people that did the high intensity sessions had to recover longer, often not leaving the gym, not leaving the session. And what I found to be true, because last year I dieted down using no HIIT cardio. That's right, not one session of HIIT cardio um, with the specific goal of using it as a fat loss tool. What I found was that my energy overall was higher throughout the day. I did not get as cold during the process of fat loss and I did not have as many highs and lows with my mood and mood swings. And so I correlate a lot of that to the fact that I took out high intensity cardio. So what do you do if you remove a high intensity cardio session? Well, what I found is if you just go back to the old school bodybuilding literature, people would do low intensity steady state. Now, what do we know about cardiovascular exercise? We know that the fuel source that our bodies use during a cardio session is most closely associated with the intensity of that session. So the low intensity cardio that we're doing 
the primary fuel source for that is going to be adipose tissue or fat. A high intensity cardio session, during that session, the primary fuel source is glycogen, muscle glycogen, okay? So you're depleting that. So why would we do high intensity cardio instead of steady state? Well, it was postulated that by doing high intensity in a shorter amount of time, and then you have what's called EPOC, the excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. During that time, you would be burning body fat. Well, the problem is during that recovery, during that EPOC process, you feel like crap. So I found what I was doing oftentimes was doing a lot of HIIT cardio and laying on the couch all day. Whereas if you just do steady state, which might consume some time. Yes, I did up to 60 minutes a day of walking. Walking people, it's not that intense. When you're done walking, you're not exhausted that you need to go lay down. You just go back to your normal activity. So although it's time consuming, well, we have some fun technology now. I can make some phone calls, I can get on my Netflix, I can watch YouTube videos while I do cardio. Is that what you're doing right now? Comment below if you're watching this while you do cardio. No, I'm serious, I'll wait for you. So that's my point, guys. My point is that just because HIIT cardio might have some other benefits, if you are a physique athlete who is training hard in the gym, you're lifting weights, you're crushing it, that should be your primary focus. Cardiovascular exercise should be used to create a caloric deficit and not impact your training, not impact your progress. So I've found a few benefits from not doing any HIIT cardio. I was also much it was much easier for me to maintain my weight post-show, okay? Because the one thing you never wanna do after a show is HIIT cardio. You're just, it's too exhausting. It's almost stressful to think about HIIT cardio. And that's another reason. You don't wanna be stressed. If you're worried about a HIIT cardio session because it's so stressful on your mind, well, you know that's stressful for your body. There's nothing stressful about going, I have to go walk for an hour. There's no stress. In fact, I found it quite relaxing. I took an hour out of my day at times, you know, and I gradually built up. I literally started off at 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and worked my way up. But even in an hour, I was never like consumed or stressed about the process. And that's a part of this, okay? That's something we have to consider, is that what are we doing that's best? What are our priorities? Our priorities are to keep muscle, build muscle. So why would we do a cardio session that depletes glycogen, that leaves us exhausted all day, when we can go train hard with weights, do some low intensity steady state, get the best of both worlds, get shredded, and feel great. All right, guys. That's it for me today. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on HIIT cardio. Click on the link below to read the, the, the research that I'm showing you guys. And uh, let me know your thoughts. I'll talk to you soon.